Journaling has been one of my favorite ways to start a morning routine in recent years. And one of the reasons for that is that I love being able to see what my mind is thinking and ruminating about. So I typically will use certain different kinds of journaling routines, but in this video, I thought I would share the journaling technique I've been using for almost the last 365 days in one tiny little notebook and how it's helped me. What's up you guys, it's Alex Hine here. So before we jump in, I've put together a free journaling worksheet right below this video. And that journaling worksheet will help you figure out what to do with your life, get your life together, and plot out how to build the most incredible life possible. So check it out. It's a free worksheet. It's the first link below this video. I like to keep one little notebook for each of the journaling techniques that I try. So I've been keeping this tiny red little moleskin notebook for literally a daily journal for almost 365 days. And I've just been really tracking this idea of resonance or dissonance. So it's an idea that inspired me from Susie Petit, the founder of Poopery, where she said that after multiple bankruptcies, almost multiple suicide attempts, and just thinking she was the worst entrepreneur ever, she decided that she was just going to try to figure out what made her happy and made her heal. Ironically, the more that she felt better and the more that she healed, the more successful she became. And that next business that she launched was Poopery, which became a $500 million business. So pretty incredible story, but the exercise is pretty simple. Basically, you just write down, what are the things that drain me, that make me feel like I'm gonna die in the situation? Jobs, people, aspects of your business, aspects of you, aspects of your life, your office, your home, whatever. And then what are the things that give you more energy and make you feel more lit up and make you feel more inspired and just more on? So every morning I start with this exercise. Basically, all I do for the first, let's say, 10 minutes is I write down, well, number one, what do I really want to be doing on a daily basis? Like, what do I actually want to be doing? If I did in every moment what I actually wanted to do, what would that be? Because a lot of the time, you can really do that. Like, as an entrepreneur, I can take Monday off and decide I want to just go sit at the coffee shop in my neighborhood and just drink coffee and read a book and do nothing because I'm not feeling excited about anything. As an entrepreneur, I can take off every Monday and Friday and I can take a, a cheap weekend trip somewhere every weekend for three or four days if I want to. So I find that so much of our lives, we're doing things that we feel obligated to do because society or our parents or some advisor told us that's how we have to live. And the funny thing is you really don't. You really can design whatever kind of life you want. So sometimes in that morning I write down, you know, I'm excited to go to a bachata salsa club tonight. I'm excited to just sit down and study my craft for a few hours. I'm excited to go for an afternoon hike. I'm really excited to get dinner and a glass of wine or two with some good friends. Those are the main things that are really exciting me right now. And this has just been a calibration exercise for me over the last year to try to really rediscover what I'm excited about. Now, the second thing I've been doing in this journal is called, I call it the hunches technique. So hunches as in a gut hunch or an intuition. And basically all I do is I write down what does my gut say? And I just do that day after day after day after day. I like to title the page Inner Directive, meaning what is my insides? What are my insides telling me I should be doing? Is it saying I should date that girl? Is it saying I should go out with that buddy for beers and a drink because we're having a great kind of synergy? We're new friends where it's not quite a friendship yet, but maybe I should say, hey man, let's grab dinner somewhere and let's chat. We'd love to see what you're up to. You know, whatever it is, it's completely illogical. It doesn't have to make any sense, but some interesting things have happened from writing down this gut exercise. You know, I decided to pick up, of all things, Latin dance, bachata sensual, and salsa. And through that, I met some of the best friends I've had in recent years of my life. I met the woman I'm dating. I met these amazing people when I'm going to Croatia on this bachata festival for two weeks. All these things that never would have happened if I was logically trying to figure out how do I make friends and how do I date and how do I travel, they all came via a way I could never have predicted through this nonlinear aspect of trusting your gut. So I place a high emphasis on this gut exercise that I do every morning. But these two things, resonance, dissonance, and the gut have really changed the game for me, especially in these last years where just feeling good is often difficult for many of us. So that's what I got for you guys. Try out those exercises. All right, guys, I hope they help you. They've really, really helped me a lot, and I'm almost done with a full year. And then there's also the free journaling worksheet right below this video, and I'll catch you guys soon.